So uh, most of you are very familiar with ski touring and uh, ski mount iron is kind of the extension of ski touring uh, in that you're going to require some technical components of crampon usage, uh, ice axe usage, uh, probably we're going to be breaking out the rope uh, to repel into something or to protect ourselves when ascending. We're going to tailor the course to to whatever people's needs are uh, and what the conditions allow us to do. Generally speaking, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be breaking the rope out. We're gonna be working with uh, repelling uh, into some cool ways. Maybe repelling with skis on our feet, repelling with skis on our back, and then how does that transition look back to skiing? We're gonna work on okay, we're skinning up it's steep. Okay, now we need to take our skis off, put them on our packs climb up okay well now we're at the top of what we want to ski how are we getting in there are we going to repel are we going to lower are we going to do a blade ski and then also a big part of it is you know what equipment do we want um, and then also we're going to work on some skiing techniques oftentimes people are not used to skiing very steep things and so uh, through the use of things like blade skiing uh, we can help introduce people to skiing 45 to 50 degree terrain with the comfort of knowing if they blow a turn there's low consequence to it. Our second day generally we're trying to work on skiing one of the bigger objectives in the park so hopefully incorporating our skills from day one into day two and skiing something like the Dragon's Tail Couloir, the Dead Elk Couloir, maybe the elevator shaft, um, maybe the ptarmigan fingers or the ptarmigan glacier uh, those would be some real classics that we might get to if the conditions allow you know this course is great for someone who has uh, done some ski touring uh, maybe they've done an, an airy uh, avalanche education course um, and they're just looking to take it that next step further Generally, we would, we would recommend it for people with uh, good ski skills. So, you know, I, you can put yourself anywhere on a black current in a, a double black diamond in a ski area. Um, that's definitely like, if you don't have good ski skills, kind of makes the course tricky. Um, and someone who just wants more than, than just touring around, someone who's curious about, well, how do I get into that core? How do I go ski? Uh, this 14er that has a repellent at the start of it. Um, so if you're curious about ski mountaineering, what it is, uh, how to do it, then the other person for this course. Ski mountaineering, I love climbing, I love skiing, I love mountaineering, but ski mountaineering to me is, is my favorite thing to do in the mountains because uh, it just brings together all these facets uh, and you get to ski at the end of the day which is awesome.